Hey everybody, John Foss, CW Twin Cities. I'm talking with Kate Lambert and Catherine Renee Thomas. We're talking about the show Teachers, and one of you actually performed here in the Twin Cities. Is that right? Yes, I was trying. I was trying to remember. It was where they um, do Prairie Home Companion. I performed there with the Second City a few years ago, and it was so beautiful. So that would be in St. Paul at the Fitzgerald. Does that sound right? Yes, that's it. I was trying to remember. Yes, the Fitzgerald. Nice. Yes. That's awesome. You you got to performing that show before it ended so oh oh yeah well I was actually well, we were with the second city touring company so we were just in the space oh, okay. so uh, okay so it was gotcha, really gotcha. fun gotcha. yeah and um, Kate aren't you from the Midwest where where exactly in the Midwest yeah I grew up in Virginia and I lived there for 13 years and then I moved to a suburb of Chicago so I, River Forest okay. um, yeah so I was there for high school and after school too came back Cool. So is that kind of how you guys got how you got into Second City? Because you were just in the, you had been around that growing up in Chicago. Yeah, my parents actually the first show they ever took me to in Chicago was the Second City main stage, and I just fell in love with it. And I saw it all throughout high school and college. So then when we all met and we were performing improv in Chicago, um, yeah, we Katie and I both performed with the Second City on cruise ships. Yeah, it's a glamorous life. It is. It is. And speaking of Katie's teachers, is there's six female leads. You guys are all writers, producers, and actors, and you're all named Katie. How did that happen? Yeah, it's it's a funny story. So as Kate was saying, uh, we were all improvising in Chicago, and we met each other through classes um, at the I.O. Theater, the Second City Theater, the Annoyance Theater. Um, and Caitlin Barlow uh, reached out to all of us and said, you know, I think it'd be really funny to pitch this show to the I.O. Theater um, where we're all named Kate or variations of Catherine, uh, which was weird. And um, so well, we thought, okay, why not? And we pitched the show. We didn't get accepted to the show. Uh, but we decided to just do a show for fun on our own at a little black box theater. And we played together and had great chemistry and uh, decided to keep performing together. And that was nine years ago. So we've been a, a comedy group for nine years. Um, and it all started with basically a joke. Yeah, longer than a lot of marriages we've yeah. been together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very cool. So how does it, how does it, how do you guys go from a comedy team to having your own show? Were you guys actually teachers, or where did you get the idea for the show? Well, teachers? Caitlin was actually a fourth grade teacher in Chicago, mm -hmm. um, but we were doing uh, sketch videos and things like that in Chicago, and we knew a casting director and director in Chicago named Matt Miller, and he came up to us with the idea of a web series about teachers. So then, sure as a group, we landed on doing it in the elementary school because we thought we could say really inappropriate things and have it fly over the kids' heads without permanently damaging them. The darker the material, uh, the brighter the background. Just yeah. Makes for an interesting contrast. Yeah. Put some more primary colors on there. Yeah. I will say that my wife, while we were watching the show, said that we are going to homeschool our kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, yes. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes our teachers are a little bit of hot messes. They mean well, but yeah, yeah. The but, future but of America. teachers are humans too. You know, mm -hmm. I think that they're put on a pedestal, and and you know, they they're normal people who maybe get hungover occasionally too, and mm -hmm. you know, kids need to learn that eventually. Yeah, they stalk their exes online. It happens. How how much of this is based on true stories that have ha that happened in in your in your lives? Well, a lot of our, our material comes from truth. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the stuff is, you know, it starts as a seed of a story from something that happened to us or someone we know, right. uh, and it blows up into something that's much bigger and more heightened than it than it ever was in, in reality. But something that we really pride ourselves in writing the show on is that uh, we want it to be very appealing to women and talk about things that women talk about and talk mm -hmm. like women do. Uh, and I think that a lot of times you don't get that on TV and you don't get the reality behind some of the maybe less pretty things that women have to deal with. And so we really we really pride ourselves on this stuff. So yeah, there there are some true stories in there for sure. Yeah. We'll let, we'll let the audience figure out which ones are are true. That's probably for the best. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Okay, great. So how many do you guys have an idea as to how many seasons you want to see see this go and then after the show do you guys have any ideas for other shows or other projects? And do you guys want to continue working together as a team, the, the six Katies? I think that we hope that the show goes as long as possible. We love doing it. And the thing is, is that with the elementary school, which is so, what's so great about it, is that the cast is always rotating, but the teachers stay the same. And there's such a great opportunity for guest stars. And because we have such a great group of women who have uh, such different personalities, the uh, 
opportunities I think are pretty limitless. Yeah, yeah. I think we would love to continue to write teachers for as long as as long as we feel it's good. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and uh, you know, and uh, I think we have dreams of doing stuff as a group, past teachers, and also as individuals. Um, you know, we've written as a group another pilot. We've done um, a few of the women wrote a feature for us. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we definitely have we have plans all over the place. And Katie Thomas and I have also talked about um, just from this morning, like having our own morning talk show. Yeah, I think we look really great in these I, chairs. I think this is together. good for us. Like maybe film reviews or. Well, I'm looking for a couple talk show hosts. Oh, great. Well, that's us. We mm -hmm. are very Midwest. Yeah, just give me a Diet Coke in the morning and I'll be ready to go. Nice. And Kate, I actually learned also while doing some research for this interview uh -huh. from a podcast that you're on, drop crotch pants, no. I can't with the drop crotch pants. <laughs> it looks like an adult had an accident. Yeah. It's not flattering for anyone. It really isn't. It I don't just, know what's happening here, but the I drop think we should pants. write it into season three. It's terrible. <laughs> Yes, I couldn't agree more. Justin Bieber, you're, you're not helping us out. You're not helping out society. <laughs> no, you know, no, right? I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him. Thank you for all you do for society with, <laughs> with that. And just and thank you for the show. It's hilarious. Thank and you. Twin Cities, you can check this out on TV Land Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Kate, Catherine, thank you guys for being with us. Thank Thanks you so much. Thanks for having us.